Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. All right. Let's just get right into it and start discussing this. My readings are normally for Leo, or they could be for anybody who is interested or that they feel they connect with this message. I try to avoid any words that are clickish or that have been used readily. It is time for somebody out there to start breaking free of this hive mind mentality. So if you connect with this, you will know exactly what I mean. A couple readings I've been talking about the justice that has been coming in. Now this is because of people who have collectively Death of a situation. Let's see if I can get that right. Yep. This is balanced very... Okay. There is something very large, very big going on. See, I hate to say something. This is what these individuals are trying to plan for you. Now, this could be just the death of a business, what you were trying to accomplish, but there is something happening here. Now... I've been having a hard time talking about this because I have been hearing just that whole big shut your blank mouth. Nobody wants to hear you. You're, you know, and it's not just me. There's other people out there who are that, that are getting this. You know, people don't like the way you talk. They don't like the way you um, dress. They don't like the way you hold yourself. They don't like the way you even sell. That This is just crazy. And a lot of this, I'm putting this over here. And a lot of this is coming from people who claim that they are so religious or they have been in some kind of field for a long period of time. Uh, they've gone through things in life, which a lot of people have, and they feel that they are, they demand respect. Um, there's a lot of people have been experiencing hearing this saying of, well, we don't play favorites, yet in front of your face, there is this favoritism going on. Oh. See, they are trying to affect your happiness. But it's not happening because you are feeling this happiness. Because this is what they're trying to actually take from you. Everybody's happiness also, we're going to say this, is not the same. You know, I don't do anything about love readings. I won't touch on this whole thing with twin flames. Um, for one thing, it's not anything to do with that, that there is a lot of important things out there. And if somebody is in a relationship, you're going to know, no matter what is said, if this is pertaining to you or not. Okay? So, anyway... And this is simply because they don't approve or they don't like the way your, maybe your relationship is. Or maybe you're single and this is just who you are. Maybe you connect with friends and business on a different level than they do and they don't like it. Okay? But anyway, they are trying to take this, but this, they, they can't do that. All right? And they're trying to keep you in your head. They're trying to keep you in your head. You know better than to accept this crazy offer, okay? Because a lot of people see this as the two cups on the other side are empty, but not all not all four of cups are like this, okay? In this card, those cups are still full, and he's looking at that cup being offered as if, well, why am I going to take that cup when these cups are still full? And somebody's going, but those are behind you. This is in front of you. And the problem with this is... Those cups are full, and you know it, and you're protecting it. That's why they're back there, because you're like, no, you can't have these. And in some cases, that cup that's being offered, you have several. And one of them in particular is not as good as you think it is, and you're going to have to question that offer. Um, and some of this is going to be an offer from something from the past. Let me get some drink here. From 
from the past, but you know better than to uh, take this, okay? Be very cautious with a lot of this going around of, you know, oh, you have to, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you have to forgive this person outright. Like they're in your face, they're right in front of you and you have to, you know, do this weird sense of forgiveness. Forgiveness is about forgiving yourself and you can mentally envision that person and you can forgive, okay? You don't have to be around this person because some of these people can be very toxic. I'm not one of those people that bounces on that bandwagon. Because there's a part of that can, that can also leave you a little hollow. And I know people don't believe that, but it's true. Okay, you have the three, we have the, excuse me, we have the three of pentacles. This is about building. This is about building and being proud of what you're doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. And you have somebody in the back there who is helping you. Now, yes, there is a third person involved, but I believe this person is in the background and you're unaware of this individual at this time. But this individual is very much helping you and trying to, I'm going to use the word, protect you from this crazy mob, okay, that's affecting your money and they're trying to stop you from progressing forward simply because you're not playing ball, whatever the hell that means, but that's what it is. It is hard to believe that not even the beginning of Listen 2022, everybody was still getting back into gear, and now we're back at this. And these people are mad because you walked away. Okay? You walked away from their nonsense. Okay? And you're trying to um, move forward in what you're at now, but unfortunately, some people are doing the same thing. It's not their business. If you don't cause harm to anybody and you're not doing anything wrong, it's none of their business. But these people are mad. These groups are mad because you walked away. Okay? And that is right under this card. Okay? Because you knew whatever was going on, this was going to happen. And you brought that ending when you walked away. Now, I'm also picking up on some people, you're experiencing some really strange things where you live. Like, you've got these, I don't know, you got these stalkers and these neighbors who are basically, you know, talking behind your back, discussing things with individuals that they shouldn't be discussing them with. Yeah. There's something going on here. This card has been popping up a lot over the past, you know, over the past few months and on and off since last year. There is a definite woman here who just has to, by all circumstance, just, it's not even that she's speaking her mind. She's just nasty and rude, okay? And there is a very big, yeah, and, 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 I hate to use this word, but she's a busybody. And this isn't just one woman. This is several busybodies. These are the kinds of people that'll go in, you know, to wherever you're at, and they critique and pick and poke and pull apart everything. And they have their own flying monkeys that help them. See, they don't like the fact you know how to manifest. Okay? Because right here. The creating, the creator of your own, um, of your own world. They don't like the fact that you know how to manifest and you can bring everything together. And they do what they can to stop that. And that's why they talk behind your back. Or they see you do something and they question it. And rather asking you what it is, they make it up. Okay? They make up lies. But you are the creator of your own destiny. Of your own being. Okay? Nobody has the right to try to tell you what you can and cannot manifest. If you're not harming anybody, that's it doesn't matter. However, I will say this, if these people continuously try to interfere with what you're doing, maybe by stealing or, you know, putting into window out there gossip, which, you know, is whatever happens, happens. But if they're going to continue to do this, then that's their problem because it's not right for people to think that you're not allowed to manifest something because they don't like the way you're doing it. That's ridiculous. these three cards 
<clears throat> excuse me, see, even my voice shakes. Okay. We got something very interesting here. Okay. We had the Knight of Cup, the Knight of Swords, excuse me, come out. This is somebody who's quick to come in and they're just ready to talk. Okay, they're ready for battle. They're ready for war. They're just coming in. They're galloping in. They're like, eh. You know, and I, there are two people doing this. And somebody's saying, be careful of this and don't engage. Don't engage with this. Okay, because whatever this is, okay, here's the justice again. You're going to have justice in this whole matter. Okay, no matter what this is. All right. And this is going to bring a choice. I don't always view this card, like I said earlier, as a relationship card. This, this, this is a choice. But I also feel this is merging. Like two sides are coming together. All right? And you're able... And somebody who... I'm picking up, and I've said this before, like a friendship. Like there's something else here that's not just, you know, a relationship thing. There is something else here. This is some kind of partnership. All right? Put this card here. Okay. I do feel it's also a couple that has, I'm also picking up on, this could be a couple that has been really bothering, bothering you. Okay. This is another thing I'm picking up on. They're, they're accusing you all of doing something that you're not doing. That's another, that's another part of the story. That's not for everyone. You know who you are. I know that's very vague. Yeah, because your cup runneth over. Your cup runneth over. Right? Because everything's being illuminated. See, if you see this, okay, you, your emotions are coming back together. You're speaking up again. Um, everybody's, everybody, you have this group of people that are on your side and there are individuals who can't stand this, just so you know. Yep. Because they know that this is coming to an end for you. Okay. Because this is what they're trying to cause. And this is disgusting. This this is vile to me. This is just a vile bunch of nonsense that has been going on. You know, rather it's this cancel culture nonsense or people who are constantly, you know, at this helm of how you're supposed to uh, live your life and what you're supposed to do. If you're constantly around people that are using what they shouldn't be as excuses for their behaviors, you know, just don't do it. Get away from those people. They're toxic. They're bad. Because they're under judgment right now. Okay? This Here it is again. Because you're going to have victory in this whole situation. Somebody's been lying to you. And you're standing up there and you have been defending yourself. Even, you know, the Six of, the six of Wands isn't here, but you've been defending yourself. And they can't reach you. And this bothers them. You know, like I said, this this is about neighbors. This is about business. This is about family. This can be anything. Whatever is in your situation. Every time I think I am done with this, this pops right back up again. Oops, too many. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this card speaks for itself. Okay? This card speaks for itself. And this is what they can never figure out. No matter what situation you're in, you have the strength. Ah, excuse me, my allergies again. My nose always does that when uh, I'm speaking, when I'm speaking up. Somebody, th this is a new beginning. This is the Page of Pentacles. I view the pages 
a lot of the times as this is what's coming in. This is a new beginning. This is a new chapter. Um, either in something that's already existed or something new coming in. But it, I feel as though this is something that has already existed in, existing in your life and there's something new coming in for it. There we go. Probably too close to the camera. Sorry about that. This one's going to be a little bit longer. Yeah. Because the ships are coming in. And they know this. They think they've won something. This is the funny part. They believe in their hearts that they have won something over you. But you're victorious. Just let everything play out the way it needs to. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that down. Excuse me. I have my nose. Okay. Now, we're going to do the Witch's Familiar to get, I think I'm going to get, let's get three cards on this. Let's see what animals are participating with you right now, what they, ha what nature has to say to you, and what animals you should be aware of, and what messages they have for you. And let's get three of these. So, do some shuffling. So, take a look at what they have for what the animal world has for you. See what animals are walking in this path with this energy at this moment and what they have to say. Now oh, that's too many cards. Wow, that, that's way too many. Okay, that's too many. Eight cards there. Okay, Jesus. They have a lot. These these cards have a lot to say. I will tell you that, and a lot came out. Yeah, that's just too many cards. Excuse me, my allergies are going nuts. This constant weather change, excuse me. Okay, spirits, ancestors, great creator, mother goddess. By the animals that walk with us in our path of life, that guide us and protect us. Let's see the message or messages you have for us. Okay, that's the last time I'm doing that. Let's see, we have Moth. Ashen. Okay. And then we have Otter Dexterity. And we're going to get one more. Now, there's something weird here. I never read in the reverse, but I'm going to show you this. Okay? All my cards are in the upright. On the bottom of the deck is boar. Somebody has been coming, Some whoever this is, it's been coming at you ferociously. They're in the reverse. They're in the reverse right now. So I'm going to take that out. Yeah, and right below that, right underneath that, is Toad, Fortune. I'm telling you right now, Whoever these people are, whatever this is, okay, this, this, these people can't do this anymore. They can't gorge you. They can't attack you. You know, it's what they say. Boars, I'm going to take out what this, what this card means in the book. The thing is, wild pigs, wild boars, they go after anybody and anything for any reason. Okay, they don't even have to be protecting their young. That's a myth. We have them all over where I live, and they are just... They're destructive. So whoever this is, they're destructive and they don't care who it is. All right? They don't care. Because they think they're in the right. But this isn't going to happen anymore. So they're going to get, they're getting revealed. And this card here, be careful. Okay? Don't get drawn into the same thing. Don't allow something pretty and shiny 
or somebody from your past to draw you back in. Okay. And to end this video, I have a couple of things like I'm going to always do. This particular toy is from Applause from the 80s. It is from a cartoon that was called The Paw Paw Bears. It was made by Hanna-Barbera, and I absolutely love this little guy. Okay. This is Paw Pooch. If you ever have a chance to check out this cartoon, you should, because it is the most adorable thing in the world. Like I said, it is called The Paw Paw Bears, and it is adorable Okay. Things that keep me sane. All right. We are already 20 minutes and four, um, yeah, 20 minutes and 50 seconds. And we're going to be at 21. Have a good one and goodbye.